everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be diving in to my summer decor plans with you. I'm going to be going through most of my summer and patriotic decor, figuring out what it is that I want, what it is that I need, and just what my vision is for the summer months. I know it seems a little early and it probably kind of is, but I feel like if I don't think about it now, then I'm gonna be scrambling. It's gonna come up on me fast. So we're gonna get started. patriotic decor. I actually got quite a bit last year. I have a fun ribbon garland. I've got some lanterns, two different kinds of filler. I've got a lot of tiered tray stuff. And then I've got some mason jar things going on. So I've got stars and stripes mason jars. And then I've got these red, white, and blue mason jars. I've got a lot of tiered tray decor. I've got a lot of that. But what I'm really looking for for my patriotic decor this year is I really want a couple more pillows. I do have a piece of wall decor, and I do, I think, have one pillow. And I've got some things for the table. And I think I have some kitchen towels. But I am really looking for another pillow and preferably a piece of artwork, not a sign, because I do have, my wall decor is a sign, but I want some artwork. And I think I want some more American flags. You can, I have these mini ones. I kind of want some larger ones. So I'm gonna try and get some of those. I don't wanna go too overboard on the patriotic decor because it is very bold. And I think a lot can be done with some well-placed flags and a cute tiered tray and some nice wall decor accent and, and pillows and things like that, accents. I'm going for a more simple, a more relaxed kind of look and it, a lot of bright colors I think just isn't gonna go with that. But I do love decorating for the 4th of July. I'm going to be decorating all of my patriotic decor probably starting Memorial Day weekend, so look out for that. And then I'll probably keep it out all the way through June and then after the 4th of July is when I will go into my pure summer decor. So moving on into my just summer decor, I am pivoting from what I have usually done in the past to something new. In past years, I've really gone heavily into sunflowers, as you can tell by all the sunflower um, florals that I have. Some of these were in my mason jars and I'm actually going to take the sunflowers out and I'm gonna salvage these daisies because I really wanna use those. I am gonna be keeping some of my sunflowers, especially this, for instance, this one that has the white in it as well, but I am going to be less sunflower heavy and I'm going to be moving more into lemon stuff. If you have seen one of, I think my last home decor haul, you would have seen that I got a lot of lemon stuff when it went on sale at Michael's. 
And I also got this lemon filler from Target. So especially in the kitchen, I'm gonna go with a lot of lemon. I just want something refreshing. I will also, and I have in the past used some coastal elements. I don't go too overboard into the coastal stuff, but I do definitely like the combination of yellow and blue. It's one of my favorite combinations of colors. I've been using it for years since I was a teenager in high school. It's the colors that I used in my bedroom. And I've got some fun new things. I've got some decorative spheres or decorative orbs that I got from my mom that she, you know, gave to me to use as I will. And since it goes really great, and I think it'll go, the Mediterranean flair of it will go really well with a lot of my lemon stuff. So I'm really excited to use those. I found this at Target, $5 for that. I have this little pitcher. But I also got this here that I don't think I've shared. This was from Dollar Tree. So I'm really excited to use that little picture and of course all my lemon stuff that I've showed. Got this little bird, blue bird. But I like to keep with the blues and yellows. Everything else is gonna be neutral. And what I'm really looking for for summer in general, and when I talk about summer, I'm usually getting a lot of everyday decor that I can use all year round. I do have some summer things that will be specifically summer, but for me, I feel like summer is the best time. The end of spring and summer is the best time to get a lot of everyday decor, have your everyday stuff out. I am really looking for some neutral throw blankets. That is the big summer thing that I have not yet gotten because I have gotten pretty much all the lemon stuff I'm going to get. I even have somewhere a yellow kitchen towel that I'm going to be using. I may want to go with a few extra green mini wreaths, just a plain greenery on the wreaths, no florals or anything like that. So I may get that, but the biggest thing that I'm looking for is neutral throws and not whites. I'm looking for more beiges and browns maybe even a black that I can just use all year round. I'm not gonna get like six throws. I'm gonna get maybe two. And I do have a couple of other plans, but these plans are bigger, not necessarily decor related, but they are decorating home related. So we're gonna get to that next. But first I'm gonna put all of this away. <laughs> I just want to take a quick minute here to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. I always love the anticipation of a new season and sharing my plans is just my way of sharing that excitement with you. So if you're finding enjoyment and value in this video, I just want to ask that you consider subscribing to my channel. But if you're not ready, that's totally okay. You can always hit the like button instead. It really helps spread this video and my channel to others who would be interested in it as well. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you so before I wrap things up, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a few things that are going to be going on in the house that I have decided I am going to change or that my husband and I have decided we are going to tackle. And the first thing and probably the biggest thing that we are going to be doing is we are going to be pretty much redoing the backyard and we are going to be doing this ourselves. My husband is going to help me. We've got to do kind of all the backyard maintenance stuff anyway. We've got a pressure washer, retaining wall, and our patio and things like that. But our backyard has just not been in the best shape for us to enjoy with our two kids. And there is one spot in particular. We do need to reseed the grass. We're probably going to pull a vast majority of it out because there is a lot of moss back there, which is not uncommon in the Pacific Northwest. It is a wet and rainy area. Moss is an issue. On one side of the patio, closer to the this side of the house that's right back here, there is from the patio quite a big step 
quite a big drop off from the patio to the ground. And that is why I don't really let the kids in the backyard very much. And my greatest fear is that they are going to go back there. They're not going to realize how big of a drop off that is. They're going to want to go over there and they are going to fall flat on their face. So my husband and I have decided we are going to grade that. We're going to cover it with gravel. And then we are going to do some reseeding and then I'm going to plant some plants back there. But basically nothing too big is gonna happen. I do wanna get some patio furniture once we are done with all of that, but I don't know if that'll happen this year or next year. But I want it cleaned up enough so that way my kids can go out there while my husband's grilling hamburgers or something and they can enjoy it and I don't have to worry about them hurting themselves. Another thing that I am gonna do is I am going to change the curtains in this main living area. So as you can see, the curtains that we have here are buffalo check. They are sheer, which is good because it is very dark down here. We only have two windows down here in our main living area. It is dark. Any little bit of light that we can get, any way that we can make it brighter in here is always a plus. I love these curtains. I have enjoyed them. We've had them up here for a couple of years now, but I think it's time to go something a little bit more neutral. I don't know if they're going to be a pure white or more of a beigey off-white. I'm kind of leaning towards a beige, but that is my plan for these curtains. I'm hoping to get them up by, you know, the next couple of months, so we'll see. And finally, the last thing that I have been thinking about, I have not yet pulled the trigger on this. I don't know for sure if this is something that I'm going to do, but I am playing around with the idea of painting some of our walls. All of our walls are this beautiful gray color. It is light French gray from Sherwin-Williams. This was done by the previous owners. They had obviously great taste in paint. I really like it, but there are some rooms in our house and arguably this room as well, um, this main living area where it is a tad too dark. I'm not going to be doing it in the main living spaces, but I am playing around with painting some of our walls white, like in the master bedroom, in my office, in the bathroom down here. Just some of these spaces that I really want to have brightened up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. Sometimes I just got to get out of my own head. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like down below if you haven't already. It just does so much to help support my channel and to spread this video out to others who would be interested as well. I've got some summer and patriotic shop with me's and hauls coming up. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.